Hi folks, welcome back. Vegas Don channel here. We are on Karen, or sorry, Katy, Katy Avenue and Maryland Parkway. Just headed west over towards the Las Vegas Strip here on Katy. As we see, looks like some homeless encampments over here on the right. And uh, the sphere is directly ahead here. So we see some more homeless encampments here. And just a reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college, totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. And thank you to all of you who have already subscribed and liked and followed us as we make a right here onto Cambridge. Take a look at the neighborhoods here off of Cambridge and Twain, named after, I'm guessing, Mark Twain, but I'm not 100% sure, so please don't quote me on that. Mulaski Family Park, that was right there. As we cross over Twain. And heading north now, here on Cambridge. red and blue flashing lights all over town. I don't know if it's meant to just be a deterrent to crime or if they actually uh, have any cameras or something in them, I don't know. As we pass Don's Market, no relation to me, I promise. Here on Cambridge. And we come up here to a 7-Eleven at Sierra Vista. Drive. Take a look down Sierra Vista there towards the strip. You can see the wind and Encore down there. You see Lisbon Avenue over here on the right. Temperature right now reads about 113 degrees outside according to the car, 113 Fahrenheit. Here as we approach Desert Inn, we're going to make a left onto Desert Inn. And there we can see Encore and Wynn, as well as the sphere over there on the left. So we've come up here to Joe Brown. We're going to make a right onto Joe Brown. Desert, Act, Desert Inn actually becomes a kind of a pseudo highway there as it goes by the uh, a convention center, which is what that big, huge, massive building on the left is there. And then you have central halls up here for the convention center on Joe Brown. Make a right here. With the number of conventions here in this town, I have to wonder if all these buildings are even enough for all the merchandise they want to showcase or there's a sign for it Las Vegas Convention Center or the service industry conventions they hold here as Joe Brown weaves and turns here behind the Convention Center you can see the West Gate here formerly the Hilton, and there used to be a Star Trek experience, Star Trek the Experience in there. This is the Las Vegas Country Club over here on the right. As you can see the Westgate Sports Book right now. As we are now on the back side of what is now the Westgate, you can see the former Hilton here in Vegas. Of course, Hilton has a bunch of other properties now, all over town. You can see the stratosphere there. As we approach Turnberry Tower and Karen Avenue, 
which then becomes Liberace Avenue on the right side here. Some more homeless encampments here. Just steps away from the world famous Las Vegas Strip. We're gonna make a left here on the Sahara. You can see the rail for the monorail there. The monorail's actually stopped for one of them, is right there. As we look back over towards the Fountain Blue, the blue building, which is supposed to be completed here at some point very soon. It has a dispensary there at 420 Sahara. That's a clever name, clever address. Someone put some work into that one. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. You can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever, as we look at the monorail station here at the, I believe this is the northern end, the last stop, if you will, at the north end of Las Vegas Strip. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. And thank you to all of you who've already liked, followed, and subscribed. You guys are the best. We wouldn't be here without you. We need to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok. A daunting task, but we're going to do our best. As we await on this light here at Paradise. Next light up is Las Vegas Boulevard, uh, also known as the Las Vegas Strip. This is the north end of the Strip. A lot of folks will walk here, up here to the Sahara, the building right here, and they will then um, continue on up there to the north for the Strat, formerly known as the Stratosphere, which is right back there. And then you've got the general store and world's largest gift shop. Or so it is advertised right there on the northwest corner here of Sahara Boulevard and Las Vegas Boulevard. Bonanza Gifts, world's largest gift shop. It says Elvis and Celebrities, Kids World, CBD products, NFL and NHL goods. And then there's a liquor store right here attached to it as well. So for those of you staying at the Strat, that could be convenient for you if that's your thing. And we look back here towards the south southern part of the strip you can see the Hilton uh, one of the Hilton properties there and Resorts World peeking out from its right and Hilton has a presence in that building as well as well as the marquee here for the Sahara each of the streets here in Las Vegas well not each of them but the big ones were formerly named and still named somewhat for the uh, casinos that were located along their paths Sahara right here on Sahara Although it's undergone some name changes since then. You can see one of the big bus tours there passing ahead of us. And then you've got uh, Desert Inn, which used to feature the Desert Inn Casino and Hotel, and then that was demolished. And then the Sands, Sands Avenue, I think it's called, Sands Avenue, and the Sands has since been demolished. And then you've got uh, Flamingo, Flamingo still stands, and Tropicana uh, Avenue or Road still stands. The Tropicana Casino and Hotel still stands, but it won't for long because the Oakland A's are moving here and going to become the Las Vegas A's athletics um, baseball team for MLB. And they're going to demolish the Tropicana in order to make room for a new stadium. And they're going to build it right there as we look at the Allure Las Vegas condominium building there. And the Golden Steer right here, very famous, very popular steakhouse right on the right there golden steer is known as a former mob hangout as well at least that's what google says and we're gonna make a right here on to tam drive t-a-m as we go into what is known as naked city and we're going to make a right on the industrial This part of town got its name because the pilots would fly overhead and a lot of the showgirls used to live in little hotels and other buildings in here, just north of most of the strip. 
at that time, and the pilots would see the ladies lying out in their, uh, in nothing, actually, as they were uh, tanning, preparing for their shifts back at the uh, casinos for the showgirl stints. We make a right here onto Boston Avenue, here in the area known as Naked City. And so the pilots overhead would uh, dub this part of town Naked City. You can see some of the residences back here. And just a quick reminder, if you like or see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We could use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. We really, really appreciate it. As we approach Fairfield Avenue here, there's 7-Eleven over here on the corner. Kind of weird that it's here in this uh, residential area. I'm gonna make a left as we have the strat directly in front of us right there. So this is the uh, parking garage for the strat right here in front of us, right next to this naked city. Or at least that's what it's been known to uh, have become. The name has become to be known. Come to be known as. There we go. So we look at more of this part of town. service over here on the left. So there is some industrial, some businesses in here as well. Probably not the kind of part of town that you want to be walking around it at night, however. Industrial Road is also known as Sammy Davis Jr. And there's a, looks like a taxi cab bar in here. Applicants Employment Center is located at the south side of the parking garage. Those who want to come in and apply for a job, Whittlesea Transportation. If your dreams to live in Vegas, maybe get started, that'd be a good way to do it. We're going to make a right here on the Chicago Avenue. And we have an earlier video where we drove through here at night and it was raining, but I uh, just wanted to show you folks what it looks like in here during the day. Here in Naked City. I'm not sure what the rents are in here, but uh, can't imagine they're that expensive. We approach Fairfield once again. We'll make a left here on the Fairfield. Here to New York Avenue. This is all the buildings here. And it looks like Fairfield just kind of zigzags here, it goes north. Street up here, and the Culinary Union, right here, and it looks like they're performing construction here of some sort. We're gonna make a well, actually we're gonna make a U-turn because I see some nails down there that I want to get myself into. And just a quick reminder again, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really, really appreciate it. And thank you to all of you who've already joined and liked and followed and subscribed. You guys are the best. Car now reads 120, 120 degrees Fahrenheit right now down here just near the strip. You see a security guard there. And 
dumpsters here in the streets. Industrial Road up here ahead. Hard Hat Lounge right here on the right. And we're gonna make this right onto Industrial. up here to approaching Wyoming and Wyoming marks the north end of or the northern end of what is known as Naked City as you can see the World Market Center up there near the North Premium Shops and then you can see up there also the Circa and uh rest the rest of downtown Las Vegas Golden Nugget but it is a good walk away from where we are I wouldn't suggest trying that at night I probably wouldn't even recommend it in the day either certainly not during the summer it's way too hot Continue to wait on this light here. Just uh, called Industrial Road, and it's definitely industrial up here. I see a welding shop over here on the right. A body shop, auto body shop there. And it looks like we're crossing a bridge that goes over the railroad tracks. This is the, I believe this is the neon, neon something they call it, where you can get onto the highway. It's kind of like an HOV thing here as we approach Western Avenue. And then we come up to Charleston Boulevard. And again, you can see downtown out there. Well, sort of. <laughs> Those are the North Premium shops up there on the other side of Charleston. Very popular shopping spot. There's also South Premium Outlets down on South Las Vegas Boulevard, down near, I think it's Windmill, which becomes Blue, Blue Diamond Road. We have some videos from down on Blue Diamond. Also up on our library, please feel free to check those out. As we go back under the railroads here at the Charleston Underpass, and you can see the metal grating here at the bottom of the at the nadir of that dip because it does get very, very, very wet in there when it rains and uh, the water accrues, creating some flooding dangers. So we look here at some of the artwork here. It looks like a T-Rex and a guy on a motorcycle here in front of this building. I'm not sure what building that is. Here at the corner of Commerce and Charleston, I can't quite tell. We finally get the green. And we're gonna go left here onto Main Street, down on Main Street. This area is going undergoing a bit of a revitalization. It used to be, um, it's it's become a kind of a, a part of an arts district, if you will, and so it's uh, kind of popular because of that reason. You can see it's very it's very. Uh, condensed in here. There's also Cornish Pasty, Cornish Pasty Company there on the right, up, uh, up just ahead there. Been there before, very good food. Some shepherd's pie in there was very, very delicious. If you're in town, I would suggest it and, rec and recommend it to you. As we await a left turn yellow, or le oh, I'm sorry, a left turn arrow. And again, I wouldn't recommend trying to walk from the Strip up to Fremont Street if, uh, if you've been thinking about it. 
we're gonna go ahead and move up here and make a left onto Casino Center because that one does not have a red light right now. Which becomes Art Way. Cleverly named. We have parking lot here for those who want to park and go to Cornish Pasty. There's also Artifice Delicious there in Art Square. As we come up to Casino Center Boulevard, and we cannot go left there, so we're going to go this way. We can go back left here onto Charleston and see some of the buildings here. Signs up there for Zach Bagan's Haunted Museum, named Best Haunted Destination in America Three Years, downtown Las Vegas. They do have all sorts of very interesting attractions here that are not gambling related. Definitely suggest you check those out if you're in town. Arts District, Office District, Casino District, and Fremont East District. All ahead. Ticket Busters. For those who get traffic tickets, they're located right there. Which makes sense because the uh, courthouse is right up here. A special moment, is it? Wedding Chapel right there. As we cross gas. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over 1,000 subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. We really appreciate it. And we're going to make a right here and head over to Las Vegas Boulevard once more. As we look at Canna Stars there. show you the uh, pawn shop gold and silver pawn stars that is their little venue there and it's uh, right here located off of Las Vegas Boulevard you can see the strat up there and see kind of tell the difference or, I'm sorry the distance between the strat and what would be the pawn stars location make our U-turn here because we couldn't do it there. And this individual, I'm not sure what he's doing. We're going to go ahead and uh, pull in here and just show you the parking lot here. This is how you come in to uh, Pawn Stars. And just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. And this is the parking lot. It's not very big, not very many spots here for Pawn Stars. I've heard some folks say that Chumley was here once on a weekend afternoon or something to that effect. I am just uh, trying not to get in these people's way here when they take their photos. And here is the front entrance there. And back north, heading north here on Las Vegas Boulevard. Graceland Wedding Chapel there. Hotel Lone Palm, Bonneville Avenue. As you can see, more of downtown Las Vegas coming into view there. The D Las Vegas, Clark Avenue there. And that's the, I believe the uh, federal courthouse building there, as well as some other federal, federal offices that are in there, federal government offices. And I think that tall building there is the county courthouse, but don't quote me, please. I'm not 100% sure. I think I went there for jury duty once, and there's the Foley Federal Building here, downtown Las Vegas. As we look here at the D sticking out from behind these buildings, over here on the northwest corner of what is Bridger. 
and Las Vegas Boulevard. Nevada State Bank there on the left, behind which the D rises up into the sky. We do break these videos up into smaller segments called YouTube Shorts on YouTube. It's a YouTube's answer to TikTok. So if you're seeing this as part of a short and you want to see the entire video, please feel free to check out our library. We put our longer videos up there as well. And uh, turn it on your Roku TV, your Apple TV, or maybe your Fire TV, if you were uh, doing housework around the house there and uh, just want to get stuff done, maybe use this as a uh, background noise. We're here with you. As we approach Fremont Street and the Fremont Street Experience, which is right there to the left. You can see it right there, as well as the Heart Attack Grill. And this is known as Fremont East, Evil Knievel's Pizzeria right there. Beer and cheese slice, $8. In addition to some other nightclubs here, El Cortez as well, the El Cortez Hotel, which has been here for a very long time. club it says there and then up here on the right is the container park like the praying mantis that I promise folks I will get to at night so that we can see the fire see the praying mantis there spit out fire because he likes to do that when it's dark city center hotel something called Z Z A I I'm not familiar with that venue Fremont East District here. Let's see a big slipper, glass slipper? No. High heel up there, as we just passed. And approaching 9th Street, 10th Street. See some uh, parking lots over here that are pretty empty. Usually they are pretty full, but this being a Sunday, golden goose there on the right. This being a Sunday, figures there's a lot of folks that are uh, leaving town after their vacation today. So we're going to go north. I'm sorry, we're going to go straight up here to Maryland Parkway. I will make. Actually, we cannot make a left on the Maryland Parkway. There's another former motel. Looks like it's all shuttered now. to move and we're going to make a left here on the 13th street see more homes that look like they've been boarded up some more folks over here I'm gonna make a right here on the Ogden Avenue This is maybe a mile east of the Fremont Street experience now, so I wouldn't recommend coming too far east. And we're going to go ahead and make another right here onto Ogden. And just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. Also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as we follow a bright yellowish gold Supra, Toyota Supra, with a very interesting paint job there. Beautiful little car. And now we approach Bruce. And there's a limo with Denver Bronco logo on the side of it there. That's interesting. We're going to go ahead and cross Bruce here. As we look at more of the homes over here on the east side. 18th Street. 
Street. Door channel so we continue making more of these videos and also like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. Again, a very dated area here. Been here for a long time. We approach 21st Street here. show you 21st Street the car still reads 120 degrees Fahrenheit here in the big city Sin City on this Sunday afternoon not sure what the conversion would be over to Celsius look down 23rd Street there Seria Lobonita. As we approach the light at Eastern, which is of course a major north-south artery here in Las Vegas. La Bonita Supermarkets, that's a chain here in uh, Las Vegas. We're one block north of the uh, north-south divider here, being at the 100 block of Northeastern Avenue. And look over here at Dahlia's Beauty Salon. And then back over here at the La Bonita Supermarket. Looks like some sort of city or county facility up there on the other side. And again, we do split these videos up into smaller versions called Shorts, YouTube Shorts. That's uh, YouTube's answer to TikTok. So if you're seeing this as part of a smaller video, please feel free to check out the larger, longer video on our library, both on YouTube and TikTok. We appreciate all of you, and thanks to all of you who've already joined. And Hi to those of you from the UK and India, Canada, Australia, we see you. Thanks for being here. Make the right here onto Stewart as we look at a tire shop over there on the northwest corner of Stewart and Eastern Avenue. And then you have the US Highway 95 right there. as we have this beautiful mural right there. And then uh, coming up here on 28th Street. And the numbers pretty much stop after this point and everything becomes named. So it kind of becomes difficult when you have an address and uh, you're beyond 28th Street because you don't know exactly where that's at. And we're not going to uh, let him keep. That was a very short light. But it was yellow when we went through it, so we're fine see some more of these apartment buildings over here to the left and again just a quick reminder if you like to see please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos if we get up to over a thousand subscribers YouTube will monetize the channel we can use that to send our son to college totally free to you no cost whatsoever and there's 30th Street so I guess I was wrong they do go up to 30th Street but I don't remember seeing numbers after 30 so who knows also on TikTok please like and follow us on TikTok as well we really appreciate it and thanks to all of you who've already joined. You can see up uh, up ahead the mountains up there. The uh, mountain to the right, peak to the to the right is Frenchman's Mountain, and the one on the left is Sunrise Mountain. The left one on the left is on the north side, and the and Frenchman's Mountain is on the south side. There, there's a urban legend that they uh, there's a woman who lives in the uh, in caves or a cave up there not known whether that's urban legend or myth or whatever, but uh, that's what the rumor is. 
can see here, we approach Picos. This intersection has been under construction for some time now because they're redoing US 95, the highway overpass uh, just ahead there. So this light is on a timer. Not that that would matter anyway, because we always get caught at these lights. <laughs> so. yeah, and Frenchman's and Sunrise Mountain up there again. A lot of folks may not realize it, but you actually fly out over Sunrise Mountain when you uh, head back east, usually to like the northeast, let's say, or to Europe. The flight pattern on most days will take you out into the west, and you'll, you turn back to the east, and it'll carry you right over North Las Vegas and ultimately Sunrise Mountain on your way back east. If you're headed south, however, or south of Vegas, certainly to Texas or Florida, those points down there, the flight path tends to take you down over Henderson instead. But for those headed to Chicago or New York, anywhere in the Midwest really, Denver, they will usually fly you out over Sunrise Mountain, which is just out of view. That's that's Frenchman's Mountain that you can see there. Just the very tips of up, 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 up ahead there. Finally got our green here at Picos Road. As we continue heading east on Stewart Avenue, the 3500 block of Stewart, East Stewart. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. Also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. We really appreciate it. See the Picos Stewart Apartments here on the right. There's no chance of rain in the uh, forecast today at all been uh, very low humidity. Humidity's been in the teens, really since we had the hurricane, <laughs> what was called a hurricane last weekend. And they did have some good rains up at Mount Charleston, knocked out the road out, the roads up there. So those folks are going through some rebuilding. In fact, they say that uh, access to Mount Charleston won't be restored for at least another month until at least early October. So those folks are going through it right now. But down here in the valley, we didn't get a whole lot. Just some rain. You can see that on some of the videos that I drove at night last weekend. As we approach the light here at Lamb. Lamb Boulevard. Named after a former sheriff, I believe. See, there's a doctor's office over there. Meneca Medica de Pueblo. And then a uh, tire store over there on the left. And then over here on the Northwest corner, we have El Rancho Boots, One Stop Insurance and DMV Services, a beauty salon, Esta Feta, and it looks like a restaurant or two in there, as well as a tailor shop. And then there's a uh, Fred's Tavern right there on the northeast corner. It's a video poker and uh, food. There's another location they have up on, I think it's Owens and Lamb as well, so it's not too far away. You might want to Google it just to double check that if you're interested. I'm not a gambler, I just know what I see driving around town a lot, so these are the places that I see. Ironically, I would gamble if there was a lottery. When I uh, lived in Florida, I, lived, I uh, would gamble once a week with, with the lottery, spend a couple bucks, take a chance. Had better odds of getting struck by lightning, of course, but I would take that chance. And Nevada is one of five states where they do not allow a state lottery, surprisingly enough, considering all the gambling they do have. Seems the key uh, casinos do not want the competition. But then they don't really put the money into... Uh, the schools here like to do, well at least they're supposed to in the other states, so. But that's my humble opinion. All of, all, everything I've said is the opinion of me and myself only, and not the opinion of anyone else. 
And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever, and also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok. We've got to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok. Um, daunting task for sure. As we come up to light here at Nellis Boulevard, and uh, there is actually a um, Walmart right here on the right side, but and we're behind those buildings actually, but it's not a super Walmart, but it's bigger than a neighborhood Walmart. So it's kind of like a, in between, maybe a teenage Walmart, if you will. Doesn't quite know what it wants to be yet. And with that, here as we sit at Nellis, I want to thank everyone for joining. We really appreciate it, and we hope you've enjoyed what you see. If you uh, really like what you see, please like and subscribe, and follow us on TikTok, subscribe on YouTube, and also, uh, please feel free to check out our other videos. Let us know, like a comment, uh, or like and comment, drop a comment, and let us know uh, what we can do different. If you, if you think we could do something differently or improve on something, we'd really want to be as, as, as good as we can, so help us improve. And we'll uh, talk to everyone soon. Thanks for joining, folks.